All right, guys, Studingo here. Welcome to uh, an arena guide for Neath. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a sketchy game, considering they have three tanks. So I'll be able to show you the basics and what you can do to succeed as Neath. So I hope you guys all enjoy. Uh, let's start out with items. I personally like to get Death's Toll. It lets you stay in the lane a lot longer. Right off the bat, so I get Death Stool and I get rank one boots. Boom boom. Then I get consumables, mana two mana pots, and a healing pot. I start with one of everything. Three is going to be your backflip, which is insanely handy to escape tight situations. Two is an AOE which when it hits mobs it returns life to you so it's like a lifesteal so it's very good it's a good lane clear as you'll see here hits them all and it brings uh brings life back to you number one is a web so i'll show you here it stuns them in place and does a decent amount of damage i personally max number one first now what we just did there is clear the camps to get ourselves some bonus xp as well as some buffs now we have to try and clear lanes. We don't want these minions to make it into our base because it will lower our score. First team to zero loses. So as Neath, you're more of like a support. You want to stay back and just help out when you can, drop stuns. When you do your backflip, it leaves what they call a broken weave. What the broken weave means, as you can see it there, right where I am at here, is if you shoot your one, which is your stun, over it, it'll stun everybody in that circle right there. So it's very handy. Another way you can get a broken weave is if you kill a god. Any left dead god on the field creates a weave for you to use as well. So basically at the beginning you just want to farm. You don't want to be aggressive. You just want to stay back. You want to farm. You want to kill minions. You want to poke at the enemy team if you can. But you do not want to get all aggressive and die. It's a big mistake. You will regret it. So we're just going to farm our way on here a little bit. We're now about to make our first trip back. Being that uh, we're completely oom. So we're not going to be much help. We don't have much uh, chance to escape. So after I clear this wave, we're going to head back. Level up our level our four, and we'll hit B and we'll go back to the base. What we're gonna do now is work on our boots. Got our boots, and I like to go cool down. Right. Actually, a lot of the time I go physical penetration, especially if there's a lot of tanks. So let's finish those off. I sell my dust tool now, because I don't need it anymore. And then what I like to do is get Fatalis. Fatalis increases your movement speed and attack speed, and it doesn't give you the movement penalty debuff when you're heading forward as long as you hit a god. So it's a really, really nice skill. I'm going to head back out, get in the battle. You try to do those exchanges as quick as possible so you don't lose out on much gold or XP, but if you got to take the time, you got to take the time. It's all right. There, I thought I had enough, but I didn't. Neath's alt is a stun that you want to let it charge up so that the whole ring fills. Like you'll see next time, I'll try and show you better, but it'll fill all around. You want to make sure it fills all around for maximum damage. It doesn't hit very hard, but it stuns and it has insane range. So it's very useful. And same thing, you just want to stay back, you want to keep farming. Farm, farm, farm. It's all about that. You don't want to get too aggressive. Save your three. Save your three in case things get hairy. Then you can get out of there real nice and quick. Or if you want to lay a weave down, which is what I'm going to do right now. Which means, see now, if anyone goes in the middle there, I can stun their whole group, which could secure us some mega kills. Oh my 
Also, when you're fighting Ares, you should get Beads of Purification, which will let you break his ultimate and get away from it. I, a lot of the time, as Neath, don't bother because I have the backflip to get away. But again, it's a matter of your choice what you want to do. You got to be more careful with your three and saving it to use it for that alt. So I'm back in the base. As you can see, I'm not doing too well this game. We're having a we're having a rough time against these three tanks. Uh, we're getting on kills, but I'm not doing much for anything. So what I'm gonna get next, which is kind of rare, but I'm gonna get Titan's Bane. Titan's Bane is gonna give me a lot of physical penetration, which is gonna allow me to hit through their armor. Now that I have Titan's Bane, I'm gonna get Blood Forge, which, well, I won't be able to fully get it, but it's gonna work up to physical power as well as lifesteal. So it's gonna give me damage and give me a way to get some of my health back when I'm low. And this Scylla is just destroying us. And our team wants to surrender. I'm gonna say no, because I'm trying to teach and show you guys what's up and what's what's not good and what what's going on right now is not is not good as you can see minions have reached your portal tried to get areas but i couldn't because it'll hit whoever's in front of them so And Ymir is a tank, so I don't hit him worth any damage. They have three tanks and two hard-hitting people, so it's it's kind of tough. It's kind of tough. But again, just try and stay back as much as you can. People tend to give up really easy in MOBAs, which I'm sure you all know. Stun is OP. Oh, see, Arachne tried to get me there with her ultimate, but she missed. Luckily. Always zigzag when you run away. That way makes it harder for them to hit you. Now to finish off Blood Forge, we will get ourselves... I'm going to go with the Deathbringer. Deathbringer increases your critical strike damage, so when you crit, it's going to amplify the damage by quite a bit. It's a very hard-hitting item. It's kind of kind of cocky to get in this round since we're not doing too well, but... Yeah, like that's gonna happen. So anyway, part of our problem is we're all, a lot of us are physical, which isn't isn't working out too well. Like that guy is just silly. We have some silly players. But you're getting the gist of what to do as Neath anyway. It's a lot of a lot of stay back and poke. And when you have the opportunity to freeze some people and lock down some others, it works really well. This game couldn't have went any worse to describe this, but hey. Has 
been slain. Immortal! See, that still is 11 and 0 now, or 11 and 1, yeah. Triple kill! My whole team is pretty much dead again. Quadra kill! Minions have reached your portal! So, in a real game, I'd finish off Deathbringer and then I'd get a game, an item called Rage, which increases your critical strike chance as well as your physical power. And then we would start seeing a lot of damage, but sadly this game isn't going very well, so it's just not a very good one. <laughs> not very good at all! Someone's choosing not to surrender, and I'm not really sure why, since this isn't going well. We clearly lose. But you get a bit of a gist of an idea of Neith and Arena. She's not my favorite Arena character, not at all, but I like her overall. I play her quite a bit in 3v3 Joust. So yeah, I uh, hope you like what you guys see. Like and subscribe. Uh, post comments or questions, feedback, criticism, all that good stuff. And uh, check me out on Twitter at, at Studingo, as well as on Twitch TV at twitch.tv slash Studingo. Thanks for watching the guide, everybody, and I hope it helped you out.